Do I hear any more bids for this treasures of the Maharaja? I remind you, this auction is for charity. Going once, twice, sold. The jewels, they're gone. Read all about it. New York is in danger again. Buy a paper for the latest news. I need to find witnesses to what happened at the auction. Maybe that paper boy heard something. Afternoon, Mrs. Brooks. Sure, I know all about it. I was here the whole time. I saw the Maharaja's ghost with my own eyes. During the auction, I heard a strange noise and screaming, so I decided to see what was happening. And there he was! A ghost! A real ghost! He turned around and looked right at me. I was so scared that I broke the door trying to get away. I'm sorry, officer. It was an accident. Here it is. I need the destination address if you want to send a telegram. I need... If you don't want a new... If you don't... If you don't want a newspaper, maybe I can interest you in a trinket? It's locked, but I have to find a way in to see what's going on. What's this? This seems like a suspicious place for a canvas.
So the ghost isn't supernatural after all. It's just projected with a lens. I need It's just a dummy. I doubt Laurier would destroy his own workshop. Maybe someone else is behind this after all.
How's your investigation going, Officer Brooks? Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, I saw her. She stays in a building where many mystics and illusionists stay. There have been a lot of them recently. It's just across the street. If you see a mysterious symbol, that's her place. I'm not going in there, though. It gives me the creeps. Hello, I am Madame Noir. The spirits of the dead can help me remove the evil eye and bring good luck in business. It's late, but I can help you if you come back tomorrow. Oh, I suppose I can find time for a police officer. I had to warn you about Mr. Laurier's curse. The spirits told me New York would be in trouble if he wasn't stopped. You don't believe me? But perhaps seeing is believing. I'll need burning candles and an image of what you want to ask for the spirits to answer. It's been a busy day and I ran out of matches. Please light the candles.
I saw the jewelry, and the spirits told me about their curse. The angry spirit of their former owner still haunts them, bringing bad luck to whoever owns them. The spirits have something else to tell us. Please hand me my cards while I get ready. The card showed me a man who was tied to this incident, Mr. Silver, the owner of a hotel nearby. My cards never lie. It was he who owned the jewelry before the auction. I have a picture to help you find him. I'm sorry, but I really must rest now. You can drop by again tomorrow morning if you need another session. Good evening. How can I help the police at such a late hour? Cursed jewelry? I don't even want to think about such terrible things. I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on them. I lost my protective talisman, and I'm powerless against the Maharaja's curse without it. Please help me find it.
Thank you. That should provide some protection at least. You know, I bought the treasure at an auction a few years ago myself. And to be honest, I wasn't going to put them up for sale. But when Liam Kaur from London recently checked into the hotel, he claimed that he was the Maharaja's heir. He asked me to sell them to him, because, according to the legend, only the heir can stop the curse. I refuse to conduct a transaction like that under the table. So he convinced me to put them up for auction instead. He seemed like a nice guy to me. My talisman was in the aquarium. Do you suspect our guest? Well, I have no reason to doubt the police. You can inspect his room. But unfortunately, the elevator isn't working right now. And it's the only way up. Maintenance can't get here until sometime this evening. But I would be very grateful if you think that you can fix it. Here's the key to Liam's room. I think I see something else in the aquarium, officer. It might be useful.
Wow. This is a jewelry box from the stolen jewelry.
I need to talk to Madame Noir again. Maybe she knows where Liam disappeared with the jewelry. Wow, how did that... Officer, this should help your investigation. The woman you asked me about, Madame Noir? She just took a taxi to the port, and I think she was in a hurry. She paid the driver double. I have to catch a cab to the port before Madame Noir gets away. New York Police, Madame Noir, stop. What? His beard is coming off. I was so close to my goal, and you still caught me. The acting community in Paris says that I'm a mediocre actress, but I was going to prove them all wrong. In the role of Madame Noir, I had an excellent opportunity to sow rumors about the jewelry. And, as Liam, I could attend the auction without suspicion. No one had me figured out. I was going to return the jewelry after my masterful performance, but I got scared when the police got involved, so I tried to run. Read all about it! Officer Brooks solved stolen jewelry case!